morning guys. It is do something on my camera. Sorry. It is Monday. It's the 16th. I've wanted one of these since I got Kiki. Ta-da! It's so cute. I just wanted to say welcome to all the new CPs that are checking in this week and starting with us this week. I always get really, really excited when I hear about new CPs coming in because like you just see the awe and the excitement in their eyes and it reminds me of the awe and excitement that I had in my eyes. I walk by um, entertainment costuming to come on stage and I just saw Mickey and Minnie. Minnie was in her fabulous Hollywood dress that she meets in at Hollywood Studios but Mickey was in his little director outfit with his like beret hat and he looked so cute. It was adorable. We don't have, as far as I know, we don't have any CPs at the Great Movie Ride, any new ones anyway. Um, we did just train one, but she was a transfer. Good morning, gorgeous. So you may be thinking, it's a little dark. Well, that's because I decided to extend 30 minutes, and my shift, which was supposed to be till 6.45, didn't end until 7.15, but it's Martha Luther, King, Martha Luther King Jr. day, so I got holiday pay, so I decided to extend just a little more, so I also got an extra 15 minute break. There's a lot of math in there that you don't need to worry about, but let's just say that I ended up winning in the end. So the intersection leaving Hollywood Studios, the light, that whole intersection, none of the lights are working. They're all just flashing red. And so I pulled up and I was like, why are there cars in the middle of the intersection just sitting there? And then I realized what the problem was. And I was like, I'm gonna get the heck out of here before this causes any problems. And so I just took off. Hey guys, so I'm doing it in the car vlog because Jared and I are currently driving back home from the car shop. Um, I don't remember if I told you or not, but Jared had um, some problems after we finished uh, golfing, he had some problems with his car, um, but we were able to get home and he was supposed to take it out yesterday and he did not because um, he had school work that he had to do. So we decided to take it out today and his car wouldn't start to go to the um, auto place. So I went out to try and jump start it um, and that didn't work. And so we actually had someone in our complex walk by and be like, hey, it sounds like you're having issues with your starter, which is something that I looked up on um, listening, like, you know, typed in all the symptoms the car had. And that's what they said what the, pro was the problem was. And I was like, why don't we just tow it to the auto place and go and get it fixed. So that's what we did. Um, luckily this auto place is freaking awesome. It has free Wi-Fi. They have a Keurig with eight different kinds of coffee that all you have to do is pay 50 cents for. Um, they have sugar, creamer, everything that you could possibly need um, when it comes to making coffee. And like, <laughs> they have free, did I say they had free Wi-Fi? Because they do, they have magazines that you can read, they have a TV with lots of different channels. Um, very nice, very homey waiting area, and the guys are awesome. They're very sweet, really good at working with you, and they're open late. So I like brought, <laughs> I brought my iPad, I brought his headphones, I brought my headphones, I brought my laptop, um, I brought snacks and water <laughs> and everything. I was like, if we need to stay here for a long period of time, we are going to be set on um, that. And they've got like a McDonald's and like a grocery store and like other things in the area that's in walking distance as well. But I brought my car just in case, um, you know, we had to drive home and we had to leave it there that overnight. But I, gladly I am here to say that we are all good. Um, it was just this battery that needed um, fixing, um, which I thought that would have been the, the first thing or that was wrong with it. I don't know. I think we were just charging, trying to jumpstart his car incorrectly or something. Because um, that's what they had to do after we were golfing. They jumpstarted it and we were able to get it home. Anyway, it's all good. He's got a new battery. We're headed home now. And I just thought I'd let you guys know that because that's pretty much what we've done with our day. We had a lazy day. I was going, he was going to go to the car shop and I was going to go and do work around the house and start taking our Christmas decorations down. Sad face, I know. Um, but instead I got some wedding planning done and some wedding ideas and I think I found a bridesmaid's dress. So that's exciting. Good morning. 
morning guys it is Wednesday the 18th um, it's really funny because me taking days off or like giving not taking days off like giving my shifts away has completely ruined my mental schedule um, every time I go to work I'm like is it Monday is it Friday what day of the week is it cuz I don't always end up taking the same days off so this is another one of those days where it's like we're fully staffed but no guests, so here's hoping for a really nice, calm morning. Chatty in the Star Wars. Are they here? Hello, Mer. I saw this online and I had to see it to believe it. They have notebooks that are inspired by the old VHSs. They need to come out with a little mermaid because I'm totally buying it. This brings me back to like a child. Like, this is so cool. It's even got it on the back. Look at that. And it's kind of written on the side. Oh my gosh. These are so cool. I want one. But see, like, I want the little pricey and I want the little mermaid. But it's got lined paper. And I think it's got, yeah, square on one side. This is perfect for what I'm looking for. Perfect size and everything, but I really want the Little Mermaid, so we'll give it time. So I took a rehearsal show, which is when we have nobody on it, and I decided to do mermaid kick exercises, and my legs are like killing me. Don't quote me on it, but I think they're not doing the 3 for 15 Tsum Tsum special anymore, and that makes me really sad. Um, because I used to be the only one I would ever buy Tsum Tsums and it was a Disney Park thing only. But all of the places where they normally had the sign where they sold Tsum Tsums, it no longer is there. So that's going to make me really sad now because now there's like no point in buying them in the park other than getting a tad bit more of a discount. Hold on a second, folks. There you go. Good morning guys, it is Thursday the 19th, I believe, if yesterday was the 18th, that means today's the 19th. And they were just talking on the radio how most moms, um, because they're taking care of everyone else, like are sick almost 18 times in the year because they're taking care of everyone else and they don't get enough sleep because they're taking care of everybody else and when they get sick they can't get better because they're taking care of everybody else and I was just laughing because like that's that's my mom that's my mom is super mom and um, I was just got off the phone yesterday with her we were talking about another venue we're looking at because the current venue we were currently looking at I'm actually going to go check out this weekend my mom realized it's too far away but she found another place that works better for us and I'll talk about that more in a Bridal Diaries um, entry. Hopefully the next Bridal Diaries entry will we, we will have a venue booked, fingers crossed, because I like to get my save the dates out here soon. But what I wanted to say was just like a side thought I was thinking of. I was like, I feel like by the time I get a hang of adulting, um, just for those who don't know what adulting is, like being an adult, you know, taking care of the responsibilities, getting to sleep on time, all this other stuff, you know, going to work, balancing jobs versus taking care of the apartment, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like by the time I get a hang of adulting, if that ever does happen, um, I'm going to be a parent and I'm gonna have to get a hang of motherhood, which I feel like I'm never going to get a hang of that just because parenthood in general like changes every couple years because you have a newborn and you have a baby slash toddler and then you have a little kid then you have a rambunctious kid then you have a preteen then you have a teenager then you have a young adult and then you have an adult and each one of those stages are so completely different that every time you get a hang of parenthood it's going to change again i just that's just some random thought that I just had. Random life thought. But I think it's good because, like, if you ever got a hang of life, like, hang on life, I feel like your life would be boring. Because you think about those who are, like, single and successful and, like, live alone or they have, like, a pet. Like, they... I feel like that, that life would be so boring, you know? Like, I pictured just living with Kiki and, like, if I had just moved down here and just lived with Kiki, 
right down here and didn't have any roommates or friends living with me or anything or anyone to take care of like I feel like I would be so bored if you haven't noticed now that I have my new camera and um, especially now that I have my video editing software I've been vlogging a lot more um, that's not gonna be a normal thing when I have days off I may vlog more um, I'm trying to do new recipes and do new things with Jared, so when I do those things, I'll be vlogging more. So you may get more Danny Diaries. Um, you may just get one on the weekend. Who knows? Also, who knows what the heck is going on over here? <laughs> this has been under construction. This is um, the front of the television lot, which is aka cast member parking. This whole section is handicap parking. And I have absolutely no idea what they're doing over here. It's been under construction for over a week now. It's going through my Pokemon, transferring those that I've caught already. And I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling and... What? What? When did that happen? I have a Smoochum? I mean, I already had a Jinx, so it's not that exciting, but what? today's vlog um yeah or this is me ending the vlog thank you so much for watching i know i didn't film too much interesting stuff but again i hope what i said you liked or at least it made you think or it made you smile i know i hope today's video entertained you um i have been vlogging a lot more than anticipated so you will probably end up seeing more than just danny diary videos and my Sunday special videos you'll probably see more throughout the week, maybe on Wednesday. Who knows? We will see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below. Tell me what you liked about the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos about me. And I will see you in the next one.